Hey everyone, I've been watching closely as my Ethereum price keeps going up because I still got a bunch in my pocket that I'm waiting to sell. So I'm going to do a quick video about some of the old tools I used back when I was mining for it. So the main thing I have here is the ASRock H110 Pro Bitcoin board. I never used it for Bitcoin mining. I only mined Ethereum. But what's significant about it is it has 13 PCI slots here. So we can put 13 GPUs on this board at one time. Now it didn't have a whole lot else going on with it. You can see it's only got two RAM slots, almost nothing on the back IO. It does have PS2 ports. So if you got some old school mouse and keyboards, you can plug those up. We uh, went as cheap as we could processor wise. I got a Celeron G3930 in here, which is uh, probably a big upgrade from the previous Celerons because this thing's actually dual core. And then, you know, we got the greatest feature in the world, unlimited PCI slots. So one of the weird things about this is you would expect on your gaming graphics, you know, you need to use the big by 16 slot. But when you're only doing mining, you don't necessarily saturate all the PCI lanes. So you can use each of these slots individually as PCI one by slots and even actually underclock them all the way down to PCI 1.0 to get your graphics cards more stable in here. And then to actually get them all connected here, we have these PCI risers where you go from this little board by USB into your 1.0 slot. I actually got it backwards. You can go 1.0 here. This even fits in the by 16 slot. Then it converts it all the way up to a full 16 time slot. Then you connect it in here with SATA power. And then you can take as many GPUs as you have and connect them in here. This is one of my old mining RX 570s. I used to run all 13 of them on this board. I just stack them on top just like that. So this thing is really cool, but the real question is, how do you run the 13 graphics cards off of one board? We can connect them physically, but inside of Windows, you natively only have support for eight GPUs. And Windows doesn't really work out of the box with anything else. So once you start connecting the ninth one, it just doesn't show up. Inside of the AMD software though, if you're downloading the mining drivers, and I think now on their retail drivers, you actually get support for as many GPUs as you can connect. Now I tried mining on this board with all 13 GPUs running and it would work, but from time to time, all the mining cards seem like they might get an error, and this is on any board I use, they get an error and one card would stop and the other cards would keep running. So 12 out of 13 cards isn't bad, but I don't want one sitting there doing nothing for a long time. So to get it back running, I had to reboot the machine. But in this setup, every time I rebooted, the board wouldn't post unless it only started with one GPU. So I'd always have to put one GPU in the first slot and then connectively add each other one back in until I got it all running again. So I'd have a 30 minute headache anytime I needed to reboot this thing. So eventually I bought a second board and we ran eight on this board, five on the other board, and that worked out a whole lot better. But that's pretty much the story of my mining adventure. We still got four Ethereum left, so we're hoping for the big payout. I also just really thought that this board was a really cool piece of tech with all these 1.0 slots and really making it work. So I hope you enjoyed this, and thanks for watching. Take care.